And to go inside of a brand new barbecue spot that's serving up amazing barbecue, delicious sides, and some killer desserts. Let's go inside the Burnt Bean Barbecue Company. Joining me now is Ernest Cervantes. He is the owner and chef out here at the Burnt Bean Barbecue Company. Thank you so much for having us out. Thank you. Thank you for coming. My dream was to open a barbecue joint in another better place in Seguin, Texas, and I wanted to bring back the classics. You know, we're not going all, all we use is salt and pepper and post oak, but we want to just perfect it as perfect as possible. Yeah, we're throwing it down and uh, we're having fun doing it. We're using a nice wow. black Angus and we take pride in everything that we do here. This brisket is just by far one of the most tender briskets I've ever had. It just falls apart. You don't even need a fork. You don't need a knife. Wow, that is really good. Oh my gosh. It has a really nice bark on the outside, good smoke flavor, but that protein stands out. I'm gonna try the turkey real quick. I didn't even, I don't really need a knife for anything. <laughs> it just rips apart, but here we go. I'm gonna try the turkey here. Wow, my goodness. The turkey is super tender, nice and moist, has a good bark on the outside, and the smoke really accents the turkey flavor as well. This has to be one of the top turkeys I've ever tried in my life. This is fantastic. I love it. High five, Dave. <laughs> David's over there like, yes. David Kirkland and Ernest Cervantes both got their start in competition barbecue more than a decade ago. They used to compete, but have now teamed up to crank out phenomenal craft barbecue. I'm like, okay, but I'm gonna use my own seasonings. And he's like, no, I want you to use your own stuff. And he would get a fifth place and I would get a third place. And then he would come <laughs> to me and say, I'm never showing you anything again. I'm done with you. Now this right here, this looks like a Cadillac of ribs, man. This look, it's just decked out. Uh, just salt and pepper rib, uh, but we take it to the next level. We use, you know, the best pork you can find on the market. Oh, wow. And it's, and it's tender, but juicy. You gotta come out here to Burnt Bean, try their full spare ribs. I mean, these things are loaded, all kinds of meat on there, but the coolest part, it all hugs the bone, but as soon as you give it a little tug of your teeth, it comes right off. Great flavor and a great texture. Stop what you're doing. <laughs> Drive to Seguin. Come here to the Burnt Bean, man. You're gonna change your life. Well, you got the sausage here in the corner. Are you making a sausage in-house? Yeah, in -house? that's our all-beef sausage. It's all prime-grade wow. beef that we use, and it's in-house, the sausage, so. Oh, wow. So it's got a little uh, little Spanish flavor in there. It's that little bite in right. there, you know? Right, it's got that Central Texas flavor yeah. that you want in a good sausage. So this is basically my mom's recipe on the potato salad. These are Mississippi-style green beans. You got cowboy beans, which is just a good old chili brisket bean. And then this is our interpretation of our uh, mac and cheese. Everybody has a mac and cheese. What we did was, I love queso. So what I said was like, why don't I just make queso and then throw pasta in it and then make it my own and throw some hot Cheetos on top. So that's our queso mac. And uh, it's just got a nice savory flavor and, and mm. it's got its own uniqueness. Oh wow. So yeah. Try the mac and cheese when you're out here. It has a really nice flavor to it as well. It has queso mix into it. Unlike anything else you're gonna find anywhere. And it also has hot Cheetos on there as well. So these are a breakfast that we serve on Sundays and we do uh, barbacoa, but it's smoked. It's got a really earthy flavor to it. Um, and then we do a salsa uh, uh, morita on there, but it's got a little earthy tones. Wow. You gotta get the barbacoa tacos. It's smoked barbacoa and it's all cleaned up, right? So you're not gonna get any of those little like fat pockets that you're gonna get in other barbacoa spots. You know it's a good barbacoa taco when it's dripping like right. that. Right, this is brisket huevo rancheros, refried uh, brisket beans on the bottom, some sunny side eggs, a ranchero sauce, and then a nice slice of fatty brisket. That's the bite. Mm. Oh my goodness. Wow. I'm gonna finish it off here with a couple bites of your sweets you got going on. Okay, that's our version of Thresh Leches, but instead of the leches, we're putting Big Red in there. It's just like that bakery, church bake. Ooh. Come out, Seguin, you have to visit the Burnt Bean. You get the proteins, you get the sides, uh, finish it off with the desserts. If it's the weekend, get the big dino beef ribs and get the breakfast. I mean, this is killer. Thank you. I love everything about this. I'm gonna keep eating some of these ribs. I'm gonna finish this rib. Mm -hmm.